Hi, I'm Kirk with Barrier Pest Control. Today I'm going to do a little bit something different, um, um, something that I know I should have been doing a long time ago, but I haven't done it yet. I'm um, just doing some video blogging um, and give you a little bit of an opportunity to see a little bit more about what we do and how we do things and some of my interests and different things like that. So um, today the title is, uh, what we're going to talk about is um, how do bees um, make honey or get honey. And uh, my bee fascination started a few years ago, um, you know, being the owner of a pest control company. Um, we've always had opportunities, you know, to go and get, you know, people will call us and say, hey, we got a, a, a beehive in, uh, in, a, in a shed or something like that. And because we are never beekeepers, we never actually did those things. So we would just refer it to uh, an acquaintance of ours to be able to go and pick up the, um, you know, pick up the hives for us. So, and about three years ago, my brother who lived in North Utah, uh, started um, becoming a beekeeper. He had a friend that kind of started getting him into, into it and interested. And that year we captured a swarm. Now that swarm turned out to not have a queen. It was a queenless swarm. Um, so I ordered, I know this sounds really weird, like a mail order bride or something, but uh, we ordered uh, a queen from like Minnesota or something like that. And she ended up dying like within three or four days or within a week at least. And then I ordered another one from Southern California, same sort of problem, and I think I got another one. So it was a long process, and it was a learning process for me. You know, I, I bought a couple of books and looked online and, and did a bunch of research. Anyways, um, thankfully that high li hive lived through the winter time, even though I think she requeened, um, or that hive requeened shortly thereafter. But anyway, that was kind of the beginning of my fascination with bees. So without further ado, um, let's talk about how bees make honey. Bees make honey basically is food storage. Um, they're using it as a food storage or a food source in bad times. You know, when there's a nectar dearth, um, there's bad weather, or to be able to kind of sustain them through the winter time. Honey is a great food source and it can be stored indefinitely, really. Female worker bees are tasked with foraging outside of the hive. So their job is to go outside and look for flowers that have and produce nectar. When they find one, like you see here, you see some morning glory, they suck out the nectar of the flower with a, a straw-like tongue called a proboscis. The nectar is then transferred to a nectar holding tank in the bee's body called a honey stomach. And inside the honey stomach, the nectar then mixes with an enzyme inside the honey stomach called invertase, which starts to transform the nectar uh, into basic sugars more suitable for long-term storage. The worker bee then comes back to the hive with a full load of nectar inside their honey honey stomach and what happens next is a little gross but they then regurgitate it into other bees mouths and this process kind of you know continues a, a couple of times a few times until they finally place it into a cell inside the hive. Here's a quick video of what a bee cell looks like. Now bee cells are hexagonal and what's make what makes them remarkable is that they're uniform. Every one of them is basically the same exact size and bees come in, the worker bees come in and they inject that nectar, nectar into the bottom of the cell until they fill it up. When first placed into the cell, nectar's water content is anywhere from 50% to 90%, which is nothing like honey, which obviously has that, that thicker texture. Um, and honey's water content is 18%. Now you can see on the right hand side that clear liquid inside the cells, that's the, that's the nectar that these bees have recently put inside those cells. Now when the nectar's put in there, uh, it begins to evaporate and the water begins to evaporate out of that nectar and sometimes that's spurred along by worker bees fanning their wings to accelerate that process and somehow the bees know uh, when the water content gets to about 18 percent and when that happens they, um, the worker bees seal up those cells with wax from wax glands that they have on their bodies and they seal that up and you can see that on uh, right here you can see that, that kind of that coating over the cells that's the wax that's sealed honey. And sealed up this way, it can be really stored indefinitely. And this is what beekeepers take um, to, to get their honey. So there you have it. That is how bees make honey. Thanks for watching this brief video on how bees make honey. This is going to be something that we're going to do a little bit more. It's going to be a little bit more informal, um, kind of a discussion format. Uh, we're going to do some other stuff. We're going to do some stuff on bees. We're going to do some stuff on pest control. We're going to do some stuff. Uh, we're going to interview people out in the community and how their world intersects with pest control. We hope you're going to find it interesting. We hope you can also subscribe um, to our channel uh, so you can keep coming back more and uh, hopefully enjoying these video blogs. Thanks.